Hello and welcome to our Bluing Tech training videos, where we discuss common features of the Bit app and website and how to use them to your advantage. In this video, we will be continuing to discuss the Airscale setup, this time with calibrating your sensors. Each of our Bit products can operate under the same application for ease. To find the page to access and manage your Airscale features, tap the three white lines at the top left here and then select Airscale. Tapping here will bring you to this screen. Since we previously assigned our air scale sensors, the page should look something like this, showing the axles laid out across the page with notes on each one as to sensor information such as label and PSI, and when it last read. If you haven't assigned your sensors yet, you'll need to do that first. Check out our video on our air scale assignment process for further info. For best results, you'll need to do both an empty and a loaded calibration, and you'll want to do two of each. It is important while doing these calibrations, your chart currently weighs what you are entering, as we associate those weights to the pressure that the air scale is getting in order for it to project your estimates. If you are entering an inaccurate weight, this could lead to your estimating weights being off a lot, so it's important to do your calibrations quickly after receiving your scale ticket. Tap the green gear icon at the bottom right and then tap Calibrate. This will bring you to this page, where it asks to get sensor readings. The app needs to receive several readings where the air scale is within one PSI of variance to ensure that there are no weight changes, leaks, or anything else that would cause variance in the calibration. This step could take several moments. Once the app has received the necessary readings, it will show check marks on each axle where the air scale is installed and allow you to tap the next button. This will bring you to this screen, which provides you two options as to the kind of calibration that you're doing. A no weight calibration should be done when you are completely empty, and a heavy load calibration should be done at your average weight or heavier. Once you select the type of calibration you're doing, tap Next. Here you'll be able to enter your weights. While your information may differ, our example is a truck, so we will go ahead and enter the drive axle and steer axle weight. The steer axle weight is needed to estimate the drive axle. Once I've entered the numbers without commas, I can go ahead and hit save. This will inform me that the calibration has been saved and for my best results, I should do another. You can do the same process with each calibration. We are also able to scan our scale ticket. So with camera permissions turned on for the app, we'll go ahead and hit yes. And then add the image. You can see here that I can go ahead and snap a photo of that scale ticket. It will be saved onto our documents page. For any other questions, please feel free to search out our other training videos, knowledge articles, and of course, our support team. Thank you for watching, and as always, drive safe.